Right, we are going to show you today how to remove all of this stuff here. Why would you want to do that? Right, because we are starting, this is the first in a series of videos where we are going to upgrade this screen. So at the moment, this screen on a Freelander 2 gives you, your radio comes from here, here we go, hold on. Right, so on your this screen here, it's pretty much, in some of the cars, some of the Land Rovers, you can see some off-road settings. But in this one, it's pretty much only the straight navigation. And if you go into settings, it only really seems to be doing the screensaver, which is um, preferences, kilometers, miles, feedback button. So it's only pretty much doing anything to do with the navigation. There's no four-wheel drive settings on here at all. So we are going to retrofit an Android 9 head unit in here. But I won't go on any more about that. Right, it's just how to remove all of this stuff. So let's turn the car off. Let's take the key out. All right, now, okay, so let's start. So the first thing to do is remove this top section here. Now it should pull up from the back. Right, here we go, got a lever now. Ooh. All right, oh, it sounds brutal. As you can tell, this one actually hasn't been out before. I practiced on the other car. So when you put it back in, these bits go in here. So you can't pull it up from the front. You can see why you've got to pull this. Well, it is the front. This is the back, whichever way you're looking at. Because you've got to pull these metal clips out of their dock. So make sure you lift it up, then slide it out forward. So that's that speaker grill. Now, you may, if you're lucky, have the surround sound speaker here, which I have in my other Freelander. Um, so we're working on the crash damage repair one. Right, so I haven't coloured these screws in, but I think you better see them. Right, you got those on the video there, George? Yeah. Right, let's have a look at what size all these screws are. Because there's quite a lot of screws there. Right, give us your hand, George. Put it. Right, so you can be the screw master there. Right, and then we've got one here. There's another one which should be the same. Right, and we've got another two here. Let's have a look if they're the same. Wait, wait. Hopefully they're the same. Or is that a bit longer? Let's have a look, George, on you. Ah, look. So the longer ones go in the top. So the longer one goes in there. That's the longer one I've just taken out. So watch that. We'll get them all back in the right. So this should be another longer one. Right, there we go, another long one. Right, grab him as well, George, thank you. Right, now the next ones are hidden under this little rubber mat here. So I've got to get this little rubber mat out. How am I going to get that out? I forget whether there was a special mat to this. Oh, it's just... Right, so it just pops in with these little... Sort of rubbery clips, unsurprisingly. Can you see that if I put my hand there? Sort of like a T shape. I'm not so it looks like yeah, if you if you push it back it probably helps. Yeah, so I reckon lift the back up, push it back, you're less likely to break them. I haven't broken them, but that looks better now I've got that out. Right. Okay, now these ones aren't let's have those anyway. Let's right. while we're here. And let's see what now I don't know if we need to do these yet, but we'll just do them anyway. Right, on the Right, let's have a look at the screw, George. So that's another long one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's another long one. Right, and then what we can do is we can take out this whole panel now. Right, right. are you watching, George? Yep. Right, so this panel now should all pull out. Now, you can start to see it moving there. Look, you can see where it's separate there. So I think if we grab it from the top and pull it, now you have to be careful because there's a wire going onto this hazard panel. Right, there we go. Right then. Let's see if I can get the bottom. Now it's quite close to this gear assembly at the bottom. Um, it should be alright. For some reason my gear assembly is loose. I don't know whether that's just popped out. Whether that is. Yeah, so I think you're going to have to pop this off. So depending whether you've got a manual or auto, this 
should just pop up. Okay, it's held in with some plastic clip on. Alright, and we don't let's have a look at that, give me a bit more. Now there is a wire. Now the screen's coming. I can leave the screen behind. Right, now there's a wire going under here. Okay, now we'll have a look. There's a connector on it somewhere. Let me just have a feel where the tab is. And then we'll have a look. Where's the tab? Okay. It's right now. So, right, so the tab that you've got to press was on. It was on the side. It was mounted like that. So you've got to press it here. And when you press that bit in there, you can reach in behind, do that, and release it like I've just done. So what you'll see there, that's the screen surround. This is the hazard warning panel there. That's the connector I've just taken out. You'll notice that all the controls for the... Can you see that there? All the controls for the air vent are all self-contained within this thing. So there we go. So that's that mount. Right, let me just put that out. Wait, wait. What else are we up to? Right. So you'll notice that the screen has come out now as well. So let's have a look what we've got on the back of the screen. Right, then how can I get this round? Right, hey, if you jump up a bit, George. Right, so this is the fiber optic cable, this orange with the orange wire. So I press that bit in at the side. So there you go, I'm pressing. There's a little bit there you've got to press in. Why right, is it gonna give me any red? Sometimes you'll get red light out of here when the ignition's on. Right. That's the first one. The second one here, this white cable, we've got to press down on the top. Again, so just pressing down on that bit. That will fire him out. Right, and then where's the last one? Where's he going? Oh, that blue one in there. All right, so there's a little clip here that clips it onto that metal panel. That panel clip. I don't know whether... Where shall I get him off? Let's see if I can slide him off with me. Yeah, so it's barbed. Anyway, look, he's gri he's gripped my thing now. Right, and then the last one is that blue connector. I've got to push in there, and that's that. So that is the screen roof. Right, but we're not quite finished yet. Put that up there. Somewhere careful. Right, then. we're not quite finished yet. So. So we can see that. And then give me my plastic thing back, yeah. Right, so we've removed all that. It's not too complicated here. You can see you've got all those three connectors I've just pulled out and there's not too much else going on. Right, now, the radio unit is sort of in two parts, but we'll see. So there's, can you see that black screw there, George? I should have covered them orange, but I wanted to do this one straight without taking it apart previously. Right, now, is that a long one, George, or is that a short one? I'm going to say, he's not as long as those long ones, is he? But I don't think he's as short. I reckon I've got three sizes now. Let's have a look. Yeah. So I've got three sizes. So we're on the middle one. The middle size one just came out of there. I don't know what comes out of it. You hope that'll be the same. You never know. They're all Torx T20. Right there, uh, two middle ones. Right, there's another two. Can you see that there, George? I think it's pretty obvious where it is, isn't it? Let's have a look. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Come on. Right. right, so we've got the four medium size, medium length screws hold that radio in right, chuck them in the pile now you can pull the front off so you can see that it's just the fascia coming off okay and when you pull that off you've got a fiber optic the most bus the fiber optic connector comes off there and you've got that green connector turn it around this way and you can see what i'm doing there's a little thing there pull it off right that's that so that is i guess that's the face of the of the CD, but not the mechanism. Okay, all right, so let's check that out of the way. All right, and then sitting behind that, you've got the main CD player itself. Now that, that sort of runs on some little, almost like wheels at the back here. Oh, 
Right, and then on the back here, what have we got on the back there, Joy? Again, we've got a a big grey connector. I'll show you that. Okay, right. You have to press that. They've all got a little pressy thing you've got to press to stop them vibrating loose. Right, and then we've got a fibre optic thing there. And what have we got here? This will be the aerial going in here. Oh, we had these the other day, didn't we? Right. So let's have a look. We've got a press here. Normally something you've got to press on here. Ah, oh, that's it there, yeah. So you've got to press down on the back. There's two little grooves there. And if you look at the front, when I press down on the back, it just lifts that little catch at the front there. Look. And that releases that off. That'll be an aerial of some description. So there we go. That's the... Um, I think that's actually the radio as well. That's the... In fact, that may... Right, because the navigation unit is under the seat. We've done a video on the navigation unit. The navigation with the disc is all under the seat. There's a DVD player. So this is just the radio and CD player, I'm, I'm guessing. So there you go. You can see everything out. That's how to remove all the audio components from the Freelander 2. Now, we'll do a next video and we'll put the link. Can you do the pointy thing, George? We'll put the link there. And that's how to fit the Android system.